Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going ahead and doing the Black Eagle with a crew of three. The dimensions you can see on screen now has a length of about seven meters. There is no actual prototype built, so we do not know the exact length of it. Its role would, would have been a main battle tank, the number built's not available. Main gun, 125mm gun, followed by a couple MGs, one of them being an AA gun. Engine, a gas turbine engine with 1400 horsepower, one of the reasons why the project was cancelled. And you can see here, not much information for speed and range. But with that guys, enjoy the tutorial. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Kirito if we are bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going ahead and redoing my first ever Modern Warfare vehicle. And uh, this right here is the T95 Black Eagle. Now this uh, tank here was a tank that was being developed by a private company in Russia. But the company ended up going bankrupt and the design was pretty much lost. I believe another company, company picked up the design of it and is currently developing it. But the Russian government actually isn't supporting this project. And uh, pretty much it's kind of a lost cause. I believe it was pretty much formally cancelled in uh, 2001. And uh, yeah, so basically it's a uh, tank that probably will never become a thing. But it was, it was actually under development and stuff like that. And it probably would have been a... Uh, tank that would have been used but unfortunately the company building it did go bankrupt and uh, I believe this tank formerly just had the name Black Eagle um, it goes by the T95 Black Eagle but I believe it was just called Black Eagle and the T95 was a different vehicle that was being worked on uh, but um, it's formally called the T95 Black Eagle so that's what we're gonna be going ahead and calling it and uh, yeah so without uh, further ado as I mentioned this is a redesign of my old one my old one was not very good as my first modern warfare tank I ever built almost Pretty much actually over a year ago um it's pretty crazy so this is a brand new design for it. i think it looks a lot better and of course this is part of my process of redoing all my builds from xbox converting them to pc and just basically making them look a hell of a lot better so anyways as we always do let's go ahead and take a little bit of a look at this uh, vehicle and i can kind of show you some of the components about it and uh, then we'll go ahead and get into the tutorial so anyways to go ahead and start off with we have a 125 millimeter gun as the uh, main gun so nice good size uh, gun on it very nice and uh, the cool thing about the, t the turrets really interesting itself it's a very low profile turret and uh, just very nice and sleek as you can see it's got a very uh, it's got a very nice slanted front armor uh, for, the, uh, for the turret which is really nice um, on the sides here you can see these uh, fence gates here representing our smoke grenade launchers and that's on either side you have your uh, your basically it's equal to a 50 cal and caliber uh, machining up on top here that would be technically for anti-air purposes um, up here you can just see some instruments and stuff like that probably some uh, you know uh, different devices and stuff thermal imaging stuff like that probably would be uh, what we have going on the top here we also have a um, little antenna here and then you have your two radio antennas on the back this whole section right here is basically for storage so this back portion of the turret actually is for storage which is pretty cool uh, just extra f external fuel tanks on the back, some ventilation, stuff like that. And um, that guy's overall is pretty much the uh, Black Eagle. I think it looks a hell of a lot better. It's a much more, much more improved design. And I think that you guys uh, will really enjoy this uh, new design for it. But uh, anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for a look at the Black Eagle. Now it's time for us to go ahead and get started with the build by starting off with layer one of our tutorial. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and getting started with our first layer, layer 1. I just want to go ahead and real quickly remind you guys that this, uh, the previous design for the T95 Black Eagle will be removed from YouTube after this video goes up. Of course, it doesn't do you guys much good, but if you guys are wondering what happened to the previous design, that's what happened because a few of you guys have asked about um, a few of my, build, my other tutorials being taken down, and that's because I've redone a version and posted a tutorial on it on PC and have uh, greatly improved the design. So that's just uh, for those of you guys that have been wondering. Now anyways, to go ahead and get started with the tutorial here, we want to place down a stone brick uh, half sab right here. And then we just want to place down a stone brick top sab that comes off of it. And we're just going to go ahead and place down two more like that. And there, there's going to be the front part of our tracks. So basically you can look here, you can see the front kind of curved portion of the tracks. That's what we just went ahead and put in. Now after we do that, we're going to place down two stone brick stairs back to back. So basically two rows of two of stone brick stairs. Two science stain clay blocks. Then our two stone brick stairs back to back. Cyan thin clay blocks are uh, back to back stone brick stairs. And then a, our last row of two here of cyan thin clay blocks, two stone brick stairs back to back. So like that. 
And then we just want to place down two stone brick half sabs, followed by two stone brick top sabs that come off of it like that. Now that right there is going to basically set up your tracks for the uh, vehicle. We also want to go ahead and take some stone buns and place it down on those science tank wheel box just like that to make them look a little bit more like uh, the road wheels that run on the uh, tracks. And uh, yeah, so after you guys have that, you guys are pretty much good to go. So now after, after we do that, we're going to go ahead and go to the stone brick half slabs right here. Place down a row three of stone brick uh, top slabs like that across. And that's going to be the bottom of our hole. And uh, then we just want to go ahead and uh, go to the back here. Go to these stone brick half slabs, place down a row of three. And then one that comes off the back, just like that. And uh, now all we need to do is just go ahead and take our stone brick uh, slabs here and just go ahead and fill in the space in between the rows just like this and this right here is going to create the bottom of your tank so the very bottom of the hole and we'll just go ahead and fill that all in like that and then on this side here of the vehicle we're going to go ahead and just copy what we did on the other side over to here so again stone brick stairs science tank clay blocks and uh, just go ahead and repeat that uh, process so just like this placing down our stone brick stairs and then our science tank clay blocks again don't forget the buttons on the side just like that and then our two stone brick half sabs and then our two stone brick top sabs just like that and that's going to basically set up the chat the chassis of your uh, vehicle with the tracks all that stuff so that's going to be your first layer right there and with that we can go ahead and move on to layer three or my bad sorry layer two Alrighty, guys so going ahead and move on to our next layer layer two now for this layer what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by placing down a uh, stone brick stair on top of the two stone brick top sabs on the front so just like that for the tracks then behind those stairs, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of seven of science thin clay all the way across like so. Then we want to take our stone brick half stabs, place down a row of three in between our two stone brick stairs there in the very front. And uh, now from this point here, we're going to go ahead and place down an upside down stone brick stair like that. Same thing over here on this side. So just like that on the outsides. And then we just want to go and take our science thin clay and just go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine blocks back after your ninth block you're going to go ahead and place down another stone brick upside down stair followed by a science tank clay block and another stone brick uh, stair like this followed by a second one right next to it like that so just like that and then we can go ahead and fill in this space right behind or to the side of it going into the inside we'll just go ahead and fill that in so again we can't see into the inside of our vehicle here through our uh, tracks go ahead and do that it's kind of necessary that you put that layer in and uh, on this side we're just going to go ahead and do the same exact thing and you guys can kind of see that the space inside here will be pretty much interior space. And you guys should have some good space if you guys want to do some kind of interior for it. Um, I'm not sure how much space you'll really have. I haven't looked, but uh, you should have some pretty good space. So, uh, again, just go ahead and do the same thing you did on the other side over to, here, over to here. And we're just going to take our stone buttons, place them around on the ends of these uh, rows here. Uh, just go ahead and make them look a little bit more like wheels again. And then along the back here, we're just going to go ahead and place down a row of three of science stain clay followed by a second row of three that pops out by one and then on this row of three we're going to go ahead and take some ladders place them down like that for a little bit of a back uh, vent system and uh, that guy's right there is pretty much it for layer two and with that now we can go ahead and move on to layer three Alrighty, guys so going ahead and moving on to our next layer layer three now for layer three what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by taking our stone cap sabs placing down a row of two here on either side like that then after we do that, we're going to place down a row of seven of stone brick half stabs all the way across like so. And then we just want to go ahead and repeat that one more time. Again, in there, row of seven of stone brick half stabs like that. Then in the very center here, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three here of cyan stain clay with two stone brick half stabs coming off on either side. After you do that, we're going to place down a cyan stain clay block here on either side. So it's going to kind of go a diagonal from the row of three on each side, followed by a stone brick half stab like that on uh, either side and this right here is going to start to create uh, this section right here underneath the turret so after you go ahead and do that we're just going to go ahead and go back one two and three more so basically a total of four here on the sides with our science stain clay and then we just want to go ahead and place down another diagonal here a row of three of science stain clay and then we just want to go ahead and place down a second row of three so basically your shapes look something like this and then this space all right in here is into your space for the vehicle so very nice like that now after you have that done we're going to go ahead and take our stone brick half sabs run along the side here just like this and kind of fill in the space on either side so again just like that 
So you're just gonna go ahead and place down stone brick half slabs, just like that. And then on uh, the back here, we're just gonna go ahead and place down two rows of seven. So one row, and then we have two rows of seven. Then at this point here, we're gonna place down two stone brick half slabs, followed by an iron trap door, stone brick half slab, iron trap door, and then two stone brick half slabs. And then lastly, on top of these three science thing clay blocks, we're gonna place down a row of three of stone brick half slabs like that. Now, after you do that, it's time for us to go ahead and add on these uh, fuel canisters on the back here. So for this, we're just going to go ahead and place down two cyan stain clay blocks that kind of come off of the uh, vehicle like that. And we just want to go ahead and place down some levers like that to connect it up, basically to uh, where our fenders would be, so right there. And we just want to go ahead and go over here to this side and do the same thing as well, so just like that. And then taking some stone buns, we're going to place down a stone bun on each end of the row of two just to make them look a little bit more like uh, fuel drums, so like that. And uh, in doing so, you guys are going to be pretty much good to go with that. One last final thing we can do, now this is optional, is you guys can go ahead and take some uh, gray banners and from along the sides. I think it looks pretty nice, but again, it's kind of up to you guys. So if you guys want to do this, we're going to go ahead and take some gray banners and place it down along these stone brick half steps. So we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten back like that. And we can go ahead and go over here to this side as well and do the same thing. I would recommend it. I think it look, makes the vehicle look a little bit better. But it's completely up to you guys. So you guys can make your decision on that. But that guy's right there is pretty much it for layer 3. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to layer 4. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and moving on to layer 4. For layer 4, what we want to start off by doing is we want to go ahead and start off by going to our row 3 here of Cyan Stinkly in the front. On top of this, we're going to place down one Cyan Stinkly block, followed by one more that comes out like that. Now coming off this science snake block, we're going to make the barrel for our gun. So we're going to take our stone brick top sabs, place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 stone brick top sabs coming off of that science snake block. So just like that for your gun. Now after that, we're going to go ahead and go back to this part of the vehicle here. And we just want to place down two stone brick half sabs that come off that science snake block right here. So just like that. Then we're going to go ahead and place down a, another science snake block. So we should have a total of three right here. And then next to this one, on either side, we're going to place down a stone brick stair. And then we just want to go ahead and place down two stone brick half slabs that come off of that stone brick stair, like this on either side. And you fix that because I accidentally placed down a stone brick slab there. So after you go ahead and do that, we can go ahead and place down another row three of cyan stain clay. And at this point here, we're going to place down a stone brick stair like that, followed by a stone brick half slab. Same thing over here. So just like that. Then at this point right here, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of five here of uh, cyan stain clay with a snow brick stair on either side, like so. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and place down a second snow brick stair. And make sure it's not a corner stair. We want a regular stair just like that. So just like this on either side. And we're just going to place down one cyan stain clay block right behind it. And then at this point here, we're just going to go ahead and go 1, 2, 3, and 4 cyan stain clay blocks. So from this one right here, 1, 2, 3, and 4 back like so. And then we just want to go ahead and bring this all the way across like that. So it's going to make it a row of 5 on the back here with a stone button come off the center one. And we could go ahead and fill in that space as well uh, just to uh, go ahead and kind of cover it up so you can't see into the turret uh, when you're looking underneath it. So just like that, and one of the final things we're going to do for this layer is we're just going to go ahead and take some wooden trap doors, place it down on either side for our smoke grenade uh, dispensers, and that guy's right there is pretty much it for your uh, fourth layer. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to layer five. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and moving on to layer five. For layer five, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by taking our gray carpet here, and we want to place down on the barrel one, two, three, and four gray carpets, followed by two iron trap doors. And then we just want to place down one, two, three, four, five, and six gray carpets back, just like that. And that's going to kind of create a more gray barrel. And this also adds a little bit of a uh, wider part of the barrel uh, with these trap doors here, which the uh, vehicle does have. So after you guys go ahead and do that, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick half sab here. And then on the right side of the tank, we're going to place down a stone button. After this, we're going to place down another stone brick slab followed by two cyan stain clay blocks on either side. And then on the one on the cyan stain clay block over here to the right side, we're going to place down a item frame with a glass block in it, just like that for like a little bit of a light. 
And then at this point here, we're going to place down a sign silica block in the center, followed by a stone brick stair coming off on either side. And then after that stone brick stair, we're going to place down a stone brick half slab just like that. And that's going to start to create this uh, back portion of the turret. So uh, basically at this point here, we're going to go ahead and take our stone brick half slabs. And we're just going to go ahead and run these all the way back toward the back here to cover up this whole portion of the back of the turret. So we're just going to go ahead and take our stone brick half slabs, run them back. Uh, we also want to go ahead and go to this stone brick half slab right here, replace that with a stone brick stair. And then on the back here, for where our antennas will be, we're going to go ahead and replace these uh, half slabs on each corner on the end of the turret, like that with stone brick stairs. And that's going to basically start to set that up. And one thing also, if you want to put this uh, machine gun on the top here, we're going to go ahead and go to this stone brick ha half slab here and swap this over to a stone brick stair facing that direction, just like that. But uh, that guy's right there is pretty much it for your fifth layer. And uh, with that, we can go ahead and move on to layers six and nine and basically uh, finish off this build by putting the antennas, the machine gun, and all that fun stuff up. And uh, with that, let's go ahead and move on to our last final layers. Alrighty, guys, so going ahead and moving on to our last final layers. Uh, for this, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by placing down a wither skeleton skull on top of this uh, science vehicle block over here to the left side. And this is going to be some kind of um, imaging device, probably thermal Im imaging or something of that sort uh, would be like that or maybe just a camera or something in general so that's what we have on the uh, turret right there then uh, then we're going to go ahead and basically move on to this uh, machine gun so we're going to go ahead and start off by placing down an upside down snow brick stair like that with a wither skeleton skull coming off the right side of it like that and then we just want to place down two dark oak with fence gates that come off of it oops my bad uh, just like that so two dark oak with fence gates for the barrel of the machine gun and on the back here we're gonna place down a stone button and on top a stone button and uh that right there guys is pretty much a machine gun pretty simple stuff and we also want to go ahead and go to this uh this uh, stone brick stair place down a iron bar on top of it and lastly we just want to go ahead and put our two antennas on so for this we're just going to go ahead and place down one two three and four iron bars up like that on the stone brick stairs here on the corners of the rear of the turret so just like that, those right there are going to be your uh, antennas on the turret, and that right there is going to pretty much complete the build. So with that, guys, that's it for the T95 Black Eagle. Hopefully you guys like this design and that you guys like this a lot better. Personally, I think it's a better design, and again, I hope you guys do enjoy it. As always, if you guys do end up using this design, be sure to give me a proper credit for, for, for it by uh, putting a sign on the build or giving me a hey, link to my channel or this video if this does appear on any social media sites. Uh, just be sure I get proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for when doing these tutorials. Helps my channel grow and it helps me continue to make these videos. But other than that, guys, that's it for me. Thank you guys for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.